In this video, I will show you the correct way to write your social media posts with ChatGPT. We will go from impressive to truly mind-blowing formulas that will help you to get the most out of this amazing technology. But before we get started, I would like to point out this very important point. Understanding this point will be a game changer for your content creation process because you'll be able to get 20 times better responses. Now, here is the secret. The input prompt you use in ChatGPT will always have a major impact on the output you receive. It's simply garbage in and garbage out. That's why in today's video, I will show you the secret prompts I use for my social media content. And I really think this could help a lot of people get much better responses in ChatGPT, especially when creating their social media posts. So I will start by breaking down the prompts and then show you practically how to use them. Now, let's get started. So the first formula we'll be using is what I call the all-encompassing formula, right? So look at this particular formula here. Create an engaging and witty Instagram caption, targeting, then you now put your target audience who are interested in, you can put their interests or desires or goals, right? Then the 200 words, you can use 300 words, you can use 400 words, you can use 500 words, right? The 200 word post should, then you now put what you want to be in the post. While incorporating, you put the tone and the style to grab the reader's attention. The main message should be, you now put the reason for the post and any objection to address. Finally, the caption should end with a call to action. Then you now put the call to action and the reason why they should take action. Now look at the example when using this particular and all-encompassing formula, right? Look at it here. I said, create an engaging and witty Instagram caption targeting working-class ladies who are interested in dressing gorgeous to work. Can you see that? Targeting working-class ladies, that is my target audience, right? Who are interested in you know and i put their interest dressing gorgeous to work do you understand so you now put the interest of your target audience the 200 word post should offer insights and tips on improving work dressing through the right color combination look at what i said here what you want to be in the code so this is exactly what i'm telling ChatGPT to do for me right talk about the right color combination why incorporating humor and wit to grab the reader's attention. That's what the tone and the style. Look at it here, tone and style. To grab the reader's attention. The main message should be to encourage and inspire ladies to dress well to work and look gorgeous. Now look at it here. The main message should be you now put the reason for the post and any objection to address, right? So the main message that I use there is this. The main message should be to encourage and inspire ladies to dress well to work and look gorgeous and that they don't need to break the bank before they can dress well to work. Meaning that I'm trying to address the objection of they need to buy very much expensive clothes before they can dress well. That's the objection I'm trying to answer here. Finally, the caption should end with a call to action to message you to buy your corporate gowns for ladies that are of very high quality and would last for long without fading. So this is just the example prompt I created using this all-encompassing formula. So I'm just going to copy this particular prompt now and go to ChatGPT and put it there. Let's see what ChatGPT will generate for me. So I'm going to copy it right now. Then I'll go to ChatGPT and paste it there. Now look at what ChatGPT have generated for me. Attention working class ladies, are you tired of staring at your wardrobe every morning wondering what to wear to work? You want to look gorgeous without breaking the bank. Hey, look at it here. Let me just scroll down so you can see everything. You can see that they really really captured all the instructions I gave in that prompt. Can you see it? They really captured all the instructions I gave in that prompt, trying to address the fact that they don't need to break the bank before they can dress, you know, gorgeous to work. And also show them different ways they can actually get, you know, quality clothes without breaking the bank. And then still give them a call to action. Look at it here. Get them a call to action to message me to buy high quality corporate gowns for ladies, right? They are both stunning and durable. As you can see here, it just captured every single instruction I gave in this particular prompt. So you see this Instagram caption, you can now replace it with other social media platforms so you can now say create an engaging and witty facebook post or linkedin post or twitter threads do you understand like just replace it with different social media platforms and you'll be able to get the best content for your social media posts if you're already getting impressed by this well let me just tell you this that this is just the most basic formula that you can actually use just wait till you see the last formula but for now let's go to formula number two which is the relatable post formula now i call it the relatable post formula because you want to write content that your audience will find more relatable right now look at the formula
people are here write an instagram post that engages your audience then you not put your audience so whenever you see any square bracket symbol right just know that that is where you're supposed to fill in you know something so look at it here write an instagram post that engages your you now see your audience is in the square bracket so you need to type out the name of that your audience so for example if you are targeting business owners you put it there if you are targeting bankers you put it there that engages bankers if you are targeting new moms you put it there that engages new moms do you understand so wherever you see any square bracket just know that you need to put in something right so write an instagram post that engages your audience and showcases your expertise on a topic so that particular topic you want to talk about is what you're supposed to put here right so let's continue and showcases your expertise on a topic you are passionate about consider including personal anecdotes or examples to make the post more relatable use concise and clear language to make the post easy to read and understand so here is an example i created from this particular formula write an instagram post about female fashion and how to dress gorgeously to work and make the post to engage your audience and showcase your expertise on how to dress well to work without breaking the bank that you are passionate about consider including personal anecdotes or examples to make the post more relatable use concise and clear language to make the post easy to read and understand so we are still going to do the same thing i'm going to copy it right now and go over to chat gpt let's see what chat gpt will generate for us using this particular formula so let me just copy it right now now look at the new caption it has created for us based on this particular formula now take a look at this particular caption it generated for us do you notice something here it's not talking about i i personally like this i personally like that do you understand because remember i told you to use personal anecdotes or examples to make it more relatable right so look at this particular sentence here one of my favorite things for dressing gorgeously to work is to invest in versatile pieces that can mix and match to create new outfits for example a simple black blaze that can be dressed up with a pencil skirt or dressed down with jeans do you understand you can see that because i said use personal anecdotes or examples to make the post more relatable he's now using it here personal examples right and you can see that this is a very much captivating and interesting caption because of this particular prompt i use because remember what i told you before the input you give chat gpt will determine the output you get it's simply garbage in garbage out and because i gave it an in-depth prompt it was able to give me a captivating caption but as soon as i just told you to write an instagram post about female fashion you just say that it just generate for me a generic caption so if you want to get something unique and sounds more personable and more interesting and captivating then you need to like give it details let your prompt have details about what you actually want ChatGPT to achieve that way it will give you a better output like 20 times better output now we are getting to the super fun and mind-blowing stuff because in a few minutes i will show you how to assign a role to ChatGPT to model and you will see how it will greatly impact the response ChatGPT will give us so that leads us to the third prompt which i call the role assigning formula now why i call it the role assigning formula is because you're going to assign a role to ChatGPT to model so that you can be able to generate a more tailored and detailed response for you now look at the formula you are an expert you will now assign the role to it or mention the field right and you you will now assign the text to it around you put the topic think of catchy and attention grabbing instagram caption that we you put the goal of the caption the caption should be 200 words and should be short concise and direct it should be you now put the style and also incorporate you put the tone to grab the reader's attention try to come up with a caption that is unexpected and surprising do not write a caption that is too generic only write a caption that is interesting and we you put the goal of the caption if you have any questions about you don't put the name of the product or services ask before you try to generate the caption okay now look at the example of using this particular formula to create a prompt for chat gpt look at it here you are an expert copywriter because i told you you need to assign a role to it when you want to write a caption about engineering what you're going to now say is you are an expert engineer you are an expert marketer do you understand like just assign a role to chat gpt so now i want you to write an instagram caption to sell corporate female gowns so that's why i'm assigning 
telling the role of a copywriter to read. I said, you are now an expert copywriter and you create engaging and captivating content around fashion related topics. Remember what I told you here? I said, you assign the tax. So this tax I'm assigning to read right now is that you create engaging and captivating content around fashion related topics. Remember I told you around, you put the topic. So I now said around fashion related topics. Think of catchy and attention grabbing Instagram caption that we encourage ladies to read the caption and buy your corporate gowns for work. Do you understand? So that's the goal of the caption because you want to sell the corporate gown. The caption should be 200 words and should be short, concise and direct. It should be creative and clever. Remember I told you, you should put the words, the style. I said creative and clever should be the style and also incorporate, you put the tone. So I now said, and also incorporate humor and wit to grab the reader's attention. So the tone here, I want to use as what humor and wit. Try to come up with a caption that is unexpected and surprising. Do not write a caption that is too generic. Only write a caption that is interesting and will motivate readers to become buyers. That is what the goal of the caption. If you have any question about the corporate gown, which is what the name of the product or service, I told you you have to put it here. Ask before you try to generate the caption, okay? Do you understand? So I just use this formula to generate this particular prompt. So I'm just going to copy this right now and then I'll go to ChatGPT and paste it. Let's see what ChatGPT will generate for us. Now, remember that I asked ChatGPT to ask me some questions about the corporate gown before you to try to generate the caption, right? Now, look at what it asked me. It said, yes, I understand. Please tell me more about the corporate gown. What makes it unique and why should ladies consider buying it for work? I now responded to it by telling it that it's a corporate gown and then I gave it the colors, red, green, and blue colors are available, cutting materials, and then told it my target audience is working class ladies and also it's affordable, classy, and durable. That's why ladies should consider buying it. So after giving it the response, now generated this particular content for me. This particular powerful Instagram caption. Look at it here. You can see that it gave me a different caption altogether because of this new prompt I gave it. If you've been following this particular video, you will see that all the captions it gave me are different captions. It never repeated any single caption because of what? I was using different prompts and coming from different angles. If you just use this formula, you'll be able to generate powerful social media posts that are not just regular. You will not get any generic response from ChatGPT, but you will get unique, powerful responses that you can actually use in your social media posts. If you found this video helpful, then you might consider clicking on the video on the screen right now to watch the next video on how to create your Facebook ads copies using ChatGPT. And if you found this video useful, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel, then enable your notifications so you don't miss out on any video I post on this channel. See you next time. Bye.